So where did the milk-drinking Izards take their blue eyes next? Their adventure in agriculture led to Europe. The most likely place they entered the continent was the Bosphorus Straits, where Asia and Europe are separated by just a narrow stretch of water. A million and a half people still make this crossing every day. My ancestors came across here, maybe Hawaii 5 style, maybe with sails, I think sails would be out back then, and it was right here. On the European side of the Bosphorus, Eddie can't resist staying in the hotel where his parents honeymooned. Thanks. Tuba Attis is a manager at the hotel. I'm really happy to accommodate you here. OK. This is the previous D1 here, and your family stayed here 904. Oh, really? Yes, of How do you know course. This? Of course, we searched the, uh, the, the records. Yes, oh, the wow. records, yes. This is the same room you're staying. This is in the same room? Yes. Can I take these pictures back to of my dad course. after we're going to come Of course, sure. of course. This is for okay. you. Wow. I'm in room 904. I don't know if you remember the room you were in, but apparently it was this one. Yeah, that's to get the view. We had a good view of the Bosphorus. I've got a bit of a view of the Bosphorus, but unfortunately the Hyatt Hotel has come along and built a bloody great big hotel in the way of the Bosphorus. Yeah. Also, Mum's actual heritage comes through Istanbul, where you were really? on home. Yeah, so that's kind of just another irony. All right, then. You keep him well. Yeah, keep him well. We were all kind of knackered. All right, mate. Good Thanks to... for the call. No problem. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye. Around seven and a half thousand years ago, Eddie's mum's line probably moved into Europe as part of the agricultural revolution. The spread of farming into Europe is a bit like the scramble for land in the Wild West. You have to imagine with something around 8 million people in the world at the time, many of them in the Middle East, that there was a continuous pressure for new land for agriculture. It looks like there were two main migration routes into the continent. One into central Europe, following the main river valleys, and another hugging the Mediterranean shore of southern Europe. Eddie's direct lineage headed northwest into the heart of the continent. But before he explores where they went, he's first going to check out what happened to some ancestral cousins who entered Europe along its southern fringes. Over the next 5,000 years, they settled in some very interesting places. Dr. Jim, where am I off to next? You're going to Pompeii. Pompeii? Pompeii in some way is representative of the next stage where great civilizations are developing and of course they're all entirely based on agriculture. So we're going there at a time that's before it blew up? Just around oh. 79 AD, I think. Oh, around 79, oh right, okay. We're going there Tuesday before explosion. Yes, time. exactly. Bye. Pompeii will be exciting. I've been intrigued.